Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and this is episode 5 of the open stage control tutorial from uh, scratch series. Yeah, really sorry there's been a bit of a delay getting content out and a lot of stuff going on at home and uh, various other bits and pieces of life has got in the way. But anyway, without further ado, uh, we're going to get straight back into it and be talking about um, these rotary knobs at the top here, how to create them. So, um, again, with the similar sort of tenet that we had before is that what we want to do, we want to keep the source base functionality of a open stage control um, exactly as it is. We don't want to be making any changes to any source code, but we want to be using uh, the, you know, the inbuilt features as much as possible. So, um, so the way I have um, done this is we here we have a uh, widget control up here of uh, type knob that you can see, and uh, given it a class of channel knob, and um, this uh, style here left and top is the um sorry yeah the, the the left and top is what we spoke about in the original video which is around the sort of the dynamic positioning so that it moves when we resize the thing and then the other one we're going to use is when to use background image so there's kind of two major ways of doing this one is we can have um, multiple images and we can set an image based on where what the value of the knob is or we could take one image and we can rotate it i've chosen to go with the first option which is to have multiple images and uh, this is because i discovered a tool called knobman which um, as part of the vst development i've been looking into using the juice framework this was something that was mentioned on the forums i found it it works great um, and uh, I already had these images uh, lying around. So what we're going to do is essentially based on this value, we're going to set the URL, the background URL for this uh, control to be um, a, an image URL. Uh, and we're going to work out what image we want to show based on the value of the control. So as we slide down, you'll see here the range goes from 0 to 127, uh, which is here um, in the range on the knob section. Uh, we've got 0 to 127. So what we've got here, we've got background image, and the URL of that background image is equal to a, um, this is at knob URL 1. So at knob URL 1 is a variable. So it start, starts off at being dot dot assets custom plain knob zero one. So if we um, bring up our let's actually um, let's actually in let's do this in eleven. Go to resources app assets custom right cool plain knob zero one. That's plain knob with just the zero one at the end. So what I'm looking at, I'm looking at these, and you'll see. Hopefully, you can see if I open them. Well, you won't be able to see as so they've got a white ticks on the background. You can kind of see them here when I select them. So it's these images. So I've got 31 images, and uh, I will come on to how I generate these first. But first of all, I just want to do. Uh, work out how the little bit of mass so I said what you'll see here is so if I open them up and view them in the uh, viewer if I go right what you'll see is as we scroll through the Im images here this uh, file name is going up you'll see that we've got a oh sorry we've got a selection of images so we've got 31 so how do I work this out so come back to here what you'll see is when I select this a little bit of script. Um, oops, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Cool. Right. So, if I just uh, copy this, cool. So, this is the value. So, what I do 
is I take value is the inbuilt variable that has the value. So I divide it by 127. 127 is the range. So basically I'm going to value divided by 127. It's going to be a number between 0 and uh, 1 scaled um, between. Uh, so when when the value is uh, of the knob is 0, um, uh, this, this part here is going to be 0. And when it's 127, it's going to be 1. Uh, so what I do is essentially I create uh, a value between 0 and 1, I times it by 30, so I get a scaled value between 0 and 30, I add on 1, uh, I parse that as an int, so parse int is a JavaScript function which converts a decimal, so if, if I had for example here, if I had 20.4, this would just get converted to, uh, to 20 as an integer, it would just round it round it uh, down or up as appropriate. Um, the next thing I do is I basically say I'd use the ternary operator. I say test is equal to test. So if test is less than 20, then 10, then what I want to do is I want to add um, the character 0 in front of it. So it goes 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, up to 0, 9. Or otherwise, if it's greater, uh, if it's 10 or greater, then I just do 10, 11, 12, up to 31. And then all I do is I take image URL and I set, create this variable, which is assets custom plain knob plus test plus dot PNG. And what you'll see is that clearly corresponds to um, here. So let's say it's sevens, it's plain knob zero seven. And then what I do is I set uh, knob URL one, which is the, um, the variable name I set that to be this value image URL and it's as simple as that so um, as this scrolls around all I'm doing is I'm setting I'm um, in the script I'm setting this knob URL variable to be um, to be the that value and then uh, the knob control itself um, has background image and that the background image URL is basically pulled from that variable and it's as simple as that as you drag this around it uh, it creates the it just draws the correct image which is scaled correctly um, across the value range of the knob and that is how that is done pretty simple what I would like to do is to revisit um, another example that I found uh, from the open stage control uh, community group so in here um, there was um, uh, there was an example posted uh, here which is pretty cool I think uh, so this is a classic sort of attack uh, sustain um, ADSR sorry attack, attack a decay sustain release type control um, with some quite quite cool knobs I think this would probably be quite useful for open stage control community and maybe even look into making this a partial that you could include so every time you wanted to do um, control ADSR um, on a particular uh, remote synth then you could just include this partial I think there's some nice CSS going on here Lots of linear gradient and other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'll try and bring that into uh, the uh, a sort of follow-up tutorial on knobs. Uh, but for now, um, uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of happy happy with this. Uh, it works well. Again, super simple. Um, one thing I didn't cover actually um, in in this is the um, is the use of knob knob man. So this is a tool called um, Knobman. It's available here. It's a Japanese tool. Uh, it's available from, from g200kg.com. And you can download it here. This is a standalone XE, which you includes, a, I think you need to run, a, run as, a, as a Java application. Um, it's probably a whole tutorial on itself. Um, so essentially for, for, for the knob that I 
showed you there's different layers you'll see them down here down the bottom left there's big ticks little ticks um, the shadow of the knob the sort of the embossed front of the knob uh, the inside of it and then there's the actual sort of tick mark itself and then you essentially build up the layers and then it shows you sort of what that looks like uh, from a sort of layer, last layer, uh, first layer and then you, what you can do is if you go to here you can export as individual files you can go to uh, file export image give it a directory give it a file name and it will that will export the sort of the, the individual files for you you can do it as a, as a film strip as well um, which is basically just one long file with all of the images in it together um, so yeah again if there's any interest let me know i can cover sort of using uh knobman but um yeah i think it's a really uh, good tool to use to to do the sort of film strip or individual um, images styles for knobs uh I would, would say that, I guess, on larger monitors and on scaling, obviously, you're using images. There isn't any sort of, you know, um, relative scaling. You're stuck at the size of the image. So you're on a really high-res monitor. Things can look quite small. And again, that should sort of imply that you should be using scalable uh, vector graphic, graphics, SVGs. And that's certainly something I've discovered in my uh, efforts in looking into doing development in juice vst development uh, with a juice framework and there's a strong sort of encouragement not to use images and to use svgs and that's another thing that i'm going to look into as well uh, but for now if you're interested i'll leave the link to knobman here uh, and the uh, where i got my um uh simple knob was from from here leslie sanford's site uh, and it's here uh, just a plain knob there's other other designs that he's done which are kind of out there um some of them some of them are sort of pretty pretty sensible i mean he's also got other stuff as well which is quite cool buttons uh sliders oh that's where i got the slider thumb from as well because i see pillaged his his site for stuff for my um uh for, for my ends which you know full credit to leslie awesome job thank you um uh yeah but definitely have a look at his site because he's got some cool stuff going on uh cool that's it for now really i'll wrap it up um yeah again you know sorry it took a little while to get this last one out but yes stuff going on at home so uh hopefully back to a more usual sort of schedule uh i think yeah next video will possibly be um the second knob tutorial or i might just go straight into uh hooking things up to ableton um let me know uh, if I don't hear back, then I'll just crack on regardless. And uh, yeah, hope you're still enjoying the content. Let me know in the comments down below um, what you'd like to see more of, what's working, what's not. Uh, and if you are enjoying this, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're not, give it a thumbs down and let me know why. And if you'd like to see more of this content and be first to be notified when it lands, then please do hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified. Thanks and see you next time. Cheers. Bye.